you're doing the diversity, doing the inclusion, you're doing all these things, you're still coaching, you have your book. Where do you, where does Genesis take all of this, everything that she's doing as of right now, where do you take it? I definitely want to travel more since things are opening back up. I just see myself doing speaking engagements worldwide where I'm coaching, whether it's youth, whether it's people in the professional sector, just really getting them to see that there's more to life than the current situation that you're in, that we all have, you know, dealt with ignorance we all have had unconscious biases but it's time for us to take the blinders off in order for us to really be the change that we want to see we have to start first by looking at who we are and doing that inwardly because we all have flaws we're all imperfect people trying to become a better version of ourselves on a daily basis but if we don't tap into those ugly truths that we each have then how are we going to be that evident change that we're so desiring and longing for we can't because it feels like we still have fraud stuff in us that's causing us to limit who we are and limit our reach and when our reach is limited we're also retreating because we're not able to launch out deep because we're afraid of okay How are they going to perceive me? What are they going to think if I say this or do that? Or, oh, am I capable of doing this? Do I have uh, the right mindset? Or am I smart enough? And there's so many negative voices and forces that sometimes we allow to get inside of our ear. And once it gets inside of our ear, we start to think about it. And as we start to think about it, we start to manifest outwardly what those negative thoughts are. And then before we know it, we're all twisted up in the game. And we're like, dang, how did I get here? But then if you're never checking those emotions at the door, you're never checking your your spirit man or your spirit woman, or you're never checking in with those ugly truths of yourself and combating those truths with positive things, then how can we really push the needle forward? How can we really make that impact that we want to make if we can't even change ourselves? And I will agree with you 100% because that's a dream of mine to travel and to spread that energy, that positivity person to person to person. Because our reach now is someone, basically someone is connected from their headphones or their speakers Mm -hmm. straight to what we're seeing. But imagine you stand in front of 10 people, 20 people, 50 people, a hundred people, and you, and you speak your truth. You tell them exactly what they need to hear. And they walk away and they say, wow, terrain. That was amazing. Wow. Genesis. That was phenomenal because what you've gone through What I've gone through, there's thousands of people that have gone through the same thing, but they may not have the courage to speak it. Mm -hmm. And they may not even have the courage to go to their family members to share it.